Unity Live Event Lighting Episode 8. Create a button to move lights. We have a row of spotlights and I want them to move up and down with a button on the screen. Thus the button can be controlled by another device. So we can cue lights however we want. I'm gonna open up my prefab of that light and if I attach the script to the prefab of this light, then all these other lights that we made in the row are going to be similarly affected. So go down to our spotlight, create a new script called spotlight script. Let's go back to our lighting script and copy and paste the first part that we already made. Okay, we don't have to completely rewrite everything that we do in code, right? The next part to copy is at the start, we have the light to look at. And then in the void update, we need our spotlight to have the look at functionality. So we're gonna move it in and then be sure to change the name because I have now light marker B. And back in Unity, I'm in the prefab and if I click this little arrow, I can move back into my main scene. Okay, now I'm gonna hit the plus sign and create an empty. Hitting the plus sign is just another way to make an empty game object. In this game object, I'm going to rename Spotlight Mark B and a blank game object, as you can see, just houses a transform, which is just exactly what we need to figure out the XYZ coordinates where we want our lights to be pointing. And each spotlight script, now I'm gonna drag onto it the light marker B. This might not be the most conventional way to do this, but I'm just gonna solve this problem in this moment and hook them all up. When I hit play right there, that actually looks really cool. It's kind of have a convex shape. So I have like a position there that I really like, okay? But my game is running and I wanna save that exact position of the light when I hit stop, it's gonna reset. So I take the spotlight, while it's playing, I can copy the values. And then when I stop playing, I can paste those values and then they're saved. Okay, we're looking good now. I'm going to begin the animation part. So I'm gonna create an animation that's gonna move my marker up and down, and that's gonna influence where these spotlights are pointing. Okay, and when I hit play, I'm getting this, this tugging feedback. And why is that? It's because the animator is on on the spotlight. So go over and turn off the animator because we don't want it to be active yet. Now I'm moving the spotlight marker over and I like where it is because the lights are up and I copy that value. Now I go back into the animator and I go to the moment that I want and I can go by frame. So I'm gonna highlight and type in 600 frames here just to go far ahead and I paste the values that I had copied so now you can see that my marker is completely invisible right but you see my marker moving and when I hit and turn up back on the animator it's now it's now looping through that animation and you can see that the lights are they, they're here and they're moving up. So that first part of it is working great. Now it's a little too long, so I go and I move my animation to be a little bit sooner, okay? And be sure to turn the animator back on. Now I'm gonna turn back on my canvas and I'm going to figure out my up button. Let's go to canvas, create, UI, button. So here's our new button. In the scene view, I want to work with the button. So I turn it to two dimensional and now I can drag the button over next to my other light switch. And let's create an up button 
and a down button. So our animation needs to be cued, okay? And Unity has something, is a little tiny complicated, but it's called an animator graph, okay? So you double click the animation controller and you can see we have this panel pop up and we have the entry and the exit. We need to make something in here. So let's create a state empty and then right click and set that layer as the default. So the default of the animation is to not be animating. Now I need to make a script that will enable the animation on the button press. Create an animation controller script. Let's open that up. We're only gonna do a few lines of code here. Public animator anim. This is the reference to the animation that we have in the scene. Then in the start, anim will equal get component animator. So we're referencing the animator on that object, okay? And then here's where we're actually gonna have something happen is we're gonna create our own button function and you're gonna create something called a public void. And let's call this lights down clicked. We're back in Unity and ready to hook up the animation controller with our button. So create a new function in our button on the on click and then go down to lights down clicked. Let's go back to our script and type in exactly the name of the animation that we need to play within the anim play. So that's spotlight row A underscore animation. Awesome, everything is set. Let's go in and hit the button and our lights moved with this button. Now we got the wrong button because the lights went down for up. Now let me go to my other button and set up how the, the button is gonna work for going down. We have made an animation for the lights to go down. And now I want an animation for the lights to go up. So I have to make another animation. I can do that by, the in the animation graph, I can click and I can copy and paste or duplicate a animation right there in the graph. And it's really awesome because I can open up this animation and just take the two points, my two keyframes, and swap them, and then it's gonna do exactly the opposite of the first animation. And so I just went and changed the names of my animation. Okay, so I did a little revising and I double check my settings here and it looks like we're good, so I'm gonna start up the project and as I click the buttons, they're cued to move this animation which is moving them up and down. Now, I got my UI on the screen. I'm gonna do a little UI settings here where I want it to be scale with screen size and I want my scene to be let's say 1280 by 720. And you wanna put the match with height at 0.5. Okay, now I'm gonna go back into the 2D view and I grab all of my buttons at once so I can grab that whole packet of buttons and move it to the corner out of the way. All right, here's the playing the game. I'm gonna hit lights up. It's cueing the lights to go up so they're out of the scene. You can see the physical body of the lights moving and I hit lights down and now the lights have moved down into the scene. I think you can see at home how this functionality gives you just an absolute amount of control. That is episode eight, how to move your lights with code. Thank you for watching. More videos are on the way, so hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. I really appreciate you watching this whole video, and uh, I will see you later.